So you installed a Llama, but you have an Intel Arc graphics card. Unfortunately, Olama seems to favor NVIDIA and the newer AMD cards. Well, I've got great news for you because there's something called IPEX LLM that can help you out. We'll take a brief look at uh, what that is and how it kind of saves the day. And then we'll jump right into how to run Olama on your Intel Arc GPU. Next, we'll do some initial testing. After that, we'll uh, look at the difference between the immediate command list and batching the command list and see if that makes a difference. And finally, we'll compare the GPU and CPU performance and see if all this really makes a difference. Thanks for joining me. I'm Daniel from Tiger Triangle Technologies, and here we go. For Olama to take advantage of your Intel hardware, you need to run an acceleration library called IPEX LLM. And you can see up here, it is to accelerate local LLM inference and fine tuning. So our objective is just to get Olama running with Intel hardware. So we're gonna jump into that. A page here that will run you step by step into installing what you need to get that running. And there's a few steps to get this going. Up to the top, as I mentioned here, you can use an Olama portable zip uh, to run this where you don't need to do the manual installation. Seems like the most straightforward way for us to, to get started here. So we're going to jump into that one. And so you see here that it says run Olama portable zip on Intel GPU with IPEX LLM. Now we look down here at the prerequisites and uh, we do have Windows 11. This is what we have here. And if you look, they're telling you to make sure the driver's up to date. And the latest, if we're running a Series 2 or an Arc B Series GPU, uh, that would be your discrete GPU. Uh, we don't have either one of those. We have the first generation or the Meteor Lake uh, Ultra 9 processor. And here it says to make sure it is this version here, 32.0.101.6078. And if we look, uh, we can tell that mine is just a little different. It is a little newer, but very minor revision here. So I'm going to see if that'll work still. So if we sit back over, uh, there is also this computer that I have, uh, the Zenbook. It has an NPU and uh, it does have an option for using an NPU with Llama CPP. But uh, we're just going to try to get it running with this portable zip for now. The first thing we need to do is just download uh, and unzip this into uh, a folder. So we click on that link. It's gonna go to a nightly build uh, and it is a pre-release version. Now you might think, well, we probably ought to get something more stable, but um, go back to your releases uh, these other releases are kind of they look pretty old to me and I as you see here there's there's a lot of thumbs up and some party poppers there I guess the naughty build uh, is is doing well it's the one to get uh, it is fairly new it's a couple weeks ago so this looks like a little newer version so I'm going to select that one and when that's done and I'll extract it to a folder and we'll pick back up all right, so I have it in a folder called Olama in the C drive. So you see that it has been uh, extracted into this folder. Uh, so I'm gonna clear this and we will now, uh, we can, well, let me do this again. So you see here, there is this um, file. It's a batch file called start Olama, start dash Olama. It is right here. So this is what we got to run. So let's do uh, start dash llama and I'll run that batch file. It's starting up here. All right, so go back here now. And what we'll do next is because this is the first time we've run it, we need to um, actually get a model that we can run. So you could do like llama run and type in the model name. Um, 
If you have a really fast connection, then it'll download it and run. I'm just gonna pull it. My connection's not super fast, so I'm gonna pull. And uh, let's do Llama uh, 3.1. That'll pull Llama 3.1, model down, and then after that's done, we will uh, start using it. Let's take a quick look at the hardware specs of the Zen Duo. It has an Intel Arc Graphics, 128 mega VRAM with 18 gigs shared. So it's an integrated GPU or an iGPU. And the processor is an Intel Core Ultra 9 185H. We're at the command prompt now and we have the metrics that we can also look at. We're gonna pay close attention to the GPU utilization and the CPU utilization as well. Uh, so what we're gonna to wanna to do first is start Olama. That's gonna uh, execute that batch file, remember? And uh, it's going to start up the Olama server. So it calls Olama serve. It sets some environment variables, variables and stuff like that as well. Um, if we look here, we see Olama Intel GPU faults, uh, so that's not uh, a good good sign there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is run. Uh, no, we're gonna do Olama run, and then we're gonna Olama 3.1. That's the one we pulled. Let's make sure we do verbose. So we can see timings, verbose, and we'll load it into memory. And we'll be off to the races. That's a good sign there though. Found one uh, SYCL device. That does seem like it is using the GPU at least there. Look back here, loading that into memory. And here, this also is good. Intel Arc Graphics uh, looks like it's being used here. So here we're going to Prompt it with name the top 10 movies with at least one software developer as a main character. We're again going to keep a close eye on the GPU utilization. Uh, so it's running pretty low on both GPU and CPU at the moment. Let's see what happens when we hit enter. Okay, if it's using GPU, they expect this to go up right here, and it is 93%. It's still pretty low on the CPU. You can see it's coming up here and using a majority of the GPU. All right, that's a really good sign. So this does look like we're using our um, GPU for inference at this point because of the IPEX LLM is allowing us to do this. All right, so you can see uh, this is ranked by, uh, rank is subjective it says, is that right? Um, based on general popularity, critical claim, and relevant relevance to the tech industry. So uh, we have the social network, uh, Steve Jobs, Imitation Game, Hackers, Mozart, uh, Internship, Startup.com, Pirates of Silicon Valley, Code 8, Wolf on Wall Street. Uh, so we all have like, um, you know, you might get different results. Uh, I've got different results in the past for these. Uh, but the main thing we want to look at is it's 11.83 tokens per second. And um, so close to 12. And actually, you know, from what it looks like to me is that that's pretty comfortable um, as far as speed goes. I mean, really, you're going to look for uh, you, you want the, the fastest and the most accurate. But honestly, it's always going to be a balance. You're going to probably um, find some kind of happy medium between those two. We're using Llama 3.1, right? And it's 8 billion parameters. And that's pretty, pretty good probably for this system uh, as far as that balance goes. We're looking at the Llama folder where I extracted the portable Llama, if you remember that. Um, and we, first thing we do is call start llama. And what that does is uh, it starts, it, it brings up a command line uh, with a title uh, IPEX LLM 
well I'm a serve and then it uh, will actually call olama serve.bat in the same directory. So let's take a look at olama serve uh, batch file right there. And we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this. Here it does set some environment variables. And one thing it says we can do is is uncomment this here and see if it makes a difference, if it helps performance. So we'll do that. Uh, before we really do that, there's one other thing we want to check. So let's do slash buy. And here, let's do a llama PS. I mean, that, that's very interesting, right? Because we know it's using our GPU, but it's telling it it's 100% CPU. Uh, and that is false. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. Um, because, yeah, we know it's using the GPU. So probably just something that they need to fix. Llama stop and put in our model, Llama 3.1. Uh, and then we're going to actually go here and uh, control C. We're going to stop this batch job and uh, let's exit out of here. All right, we should be able to now start this back up. Well, for the sake of time, uh, I'll just tell you, I uncommented that and ran it and it did not make much of a difference on my system. Uh, what that does is it takes, and instead of sending the command list as a batch, it sends it immediately, each one of the, the commands. So uh, that can help in some scenarios, and you may experiment with it and see how it does it on your system. But with mine, I'm going to comment that back out. It just did not make much of a difference. Uh, I had recorded all that. I'm just not going to make you watch that again. It's really not worth it. And so we'll jump on to the next test. The thing we're going to do is we're going to set this Olama num GPU from 999, which means use all the GPUs you can. And we're going to set this to zero. And that should force it to use our CPU. And we're going to see what the timings there are on that one. Let's run the same command, just to be fair. Let's look here, see what's going on with the utilization. GPU is not being used. CPU is kind of being used here at 33%. Okay, definitely a slower eval rate of 5.46 tokens per second. So huge difference. It's a huge difference. It really makes you glad that Intel has made this acceleration library. Now at some point, maybe we can try the NPU on here and see if that neural processor uh, works I mean, is even comparable to the GPU, but I, I just have a feeling the GPU is going to outperform that as well. Uh, but we'll, maybe we'll try that down the road. So I'm going to go back in and change that setting back to 999 for sure. But uh, I think that's a wrap for this video. And thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. And until next time, stay curious and take care.